you know, obviously, uh, I, I, I'm proud of some of the things we've done here at K-State with K-State basketball, uh, winning the first championship in 13 and in, in whatever, 36 years, winning another one um, in 19, getting to the Elite Eight. But, uh, uh, you know, this this was very, very disappointing and, and sad for our program. Uh, I knew this was going to be – I knew the season was not going to be easy. Uh, obviously, I didn't think it was going to be uh, this tough. Uh, we've had to go through COVID injuries, all that. But, uh, you know, it, we, there's no way this should happen. But sometimes you got to learn the hard way. You got to go through adversity to, uh, to make any progress and get people's attention. Um, hats off to Fort Hay State. They played unbelievable, made shots maybe they've never made in their career. Um, and, you know, it's unbelievable. And then that's the special thing about college basketball. Every game's different. And you, you play well, uh, you make some shots, get on a magic level, and, and you have amazing things. So credit to them, their guys. Uh, uh, disappointed for our guys. Obviously, we're young, but uh, at the same time, you know, we, we, we got to be more better. We got to be better than that. We got to go back to the drawing board. Uh, we didn't, you know, we got some young big guys that haven't played college basketball trying to play. They probably weren't good matchups. We were hoping to get them more minutes. Um, but because of the game and trying to win, uh, we, you know, it, it kind of, it, we couldn't do that. And we ended up going small ball. I thought that was the best we played at the end. Um, and we've probably got to look at that, uh, for the future, but we still, it, you know, it starts with defense. I, I told the coaches today, you know, we've had three teams score, shoot 50%. Now there's a fourth team in our gym. And uh, that, that has not happened in my career. Um, and you know, I, I, there's no excuses. It's us. We got to, we got to go back to the drawing board. We probably got to go more compact with our defense. Uh, they beat us in every way tonight, straight line drives, uh, threes, penetrate and kick all the different things. Uh, obviously the, we had six stops to start the game and, you know, but then we turned it over, I think six or seven times in that first early stretch, which gave them some easy layups, which gave them some confidence. And then they just started feeling it. And, uh, you know, uh, it, it, we got to come back and go back to the drawing board. We got to have great attitudes. We got to listen. Uh, no more drama, no more uh, questioning. This is, this is, we got to come together as a group and uh, see what we can, if we can make some progress by Friday. First question to Kellis Robin. Okay. Uh, hey, Bruce. Um, previously, you kind of mentioned that, I don't know, you thought the chemistry on this team was pretty good. We heard Mike mention he thought maybe there's too much BS going on right now. You just said no more drama. Uh, have things maybe not been going so smoothly behind the scenes? I just, I think uh, once we got into practice and hit some adversity, uh, everyone trying to figure out what they are and what their role is, I think that's the that's the biggest thing. And And – uh, you know, again, it's my job to make sure they understand the role. I, I always say there's an old term in biology, osmosis, and I hope they roll, r learn their role by osmosis. And, uh, you know, that's the seeping of a, a substance through a membrane, and you hope it kind of goes into their brain and they learn the role. Uh, but if they don't, then you got you got to drill it into them. And um, that's, that's what we're going to have to figure out. Obviously, I hope they're humbled. I hope they're ready to listen. I hope they want to buy in. And uh, as we said, the good thing in basketball, we play three days from now. And uh, I, I, I'm pretty, I am positive we'll play a lot better and uh, make sure that we, we stop some people also. For you personally, how humbling is it to lose a game like that? Oh, you know, anytime I lose, I'm humbled. It's disappointing. I'm disappointed for the program. I love K-State. I love, but I also am very proud of what we've done. And, uh, uh, again, you know, it, uh, you know, we got some young guys. We're figuring it out. COVID is not easy. Injuries are not easy. And, you know, we got to figure as a staff, we got a great staff. We've won a lot of games here and we've won a lot of games in our career. And now we just got to figure out some, uh, a different, a different way. And, uh, obviously what we were trying to do did not work. And now everyone's got to buy in and we got to figure some things out. Thank you, Bruce. Uh, next question to John Kurtz. 
Yeah, Bruce, um, just what would be your message to, to the fans right now who obviously would be pretty disappointed by what happened? I, I mean, I'm, I apologize. I'm disappointed. I mean, I, no excuses. That's, that's my – I'm the boss. I've been here. I've done, I've done really good things. But right now this is not a special thing. And, and you know, I, I just hope they, they, they stick with us. And we got a young group. And uh, I, I, I'm, I'm very, very sure on Friday it's going to be different. And hopefully moving forward in the season. The issues that you're having on defense, how much of it is guys – not giving enough effort versus guys not being in the right place and knowing what's going on. Not being in the right place, not understanding, uh, you know, how hard it is that you got to man up and stop somebody. We had one foul. I looked up with about 10 minutes left in the half. We didn't, we had only 12 fouls against UNLV and, and you got to man up, you got to fight. And I'm not saying reach and gamble, and, but you got to be strong and play strong. And um, I think that's, that to me, that's the biggest thing. They just got the ball at the elbow and drove by us, and and you know some of it we got young guys, uh, never been through it, didn't understand it, uh, but also you know I, we thought we could be a little more aggressive and pressure, but we probably got to get a little more compact. Uh, teams have shot well against us from three too. So, but I think part of that we get beat by the dribble, we don't make the proper rotations, we don't get our hands up, and uh, we got to go back and and really. Look as a staff. Look what we do, and then try to in a couple of days shore it up, and make sure we're better on on Friday. Appreciate it, Bruce. Other questions for Coach Weber. Uh, next question to Ryan Black. Hey, Bruce, is there, is there one specific part about this loss that's, that's more frustrating than anything else? Is it just the fact you guys had the 10 turnovers and one assist at halftime? Or is, is there something else that when you really look at this, you're like, this is the thing that's really going to stick with me? Obviously, we got to get a stick. And, and we also got to cut down our turnovers. Um, and, and you know, I guess, as I said, we were trying to run some motion, do some things that we thought over the long haul. But now when you – you don't have the right bodies in there. You know, maybe you can't do that. Uh, guys forcing the issue, not letting it come, being a little more patient. Um, you know, that's got to be something that happens. Uh, and, you know, we got it. I told them yesterday, we have to be willing passers. We got to be willing screeners and we got to be willing cutters. Uh, a football pass pattern does not work unless all five receivers go out and run their route. Only one's going to get the ball. And but they all have to run the route, and you run a play in, in basketball, you've got to do the same thing. And, and uh, you know, so it, it that that's frustrating. Uh, the defense is frustrating. Um, you know, some of it's youth, some of it's maybe what we're trying to get them to do, understanding. And uh, you know, and, and then when we how many times do we steal the ball and not finish on the break? Uh, Days one, or Nigel steals the ball first play the second half. We throw it away. I did the same thing. He didn't do it, but Rudy did against UNLV. Dejuan's got a dunk. We don't make the dunk. Um, you know, we had some other opportunities that we didn't finish. And, uh, you know, sometimes that's life how it is. You got to go through adversity. You got to get to low points to get, come back together. Uh, obviously, this was a, a low point for everybody. Now we got to figure it out. I, I got Mike McGurl, I thought was very, very solid. Uh, obviously, he gave us a chance, shot the ball well. I thought he shot good shots. That, that To me, that was really important. Uh, but again, he's got to get some assists. And, uh, you know, they, uh, you know, Nigel gets five again, but we got to have somebody else, some other guys make some plays and some passes. How much did it hurt not having Casey and Monty tonight? I mean, it, obviously, it's it, those are two of your guys that have experience and, and have played well, and uh, you get a little more inside thread. I think Davion, I still think he's going to be all right. He gave us a little boost start to half. Um, you know, it's it's hard, and it's hard to be a big guy and then play against smaller guys, you know, that are kind of underneath them. So uh, Carlton got his first taste of it. You know, this is a guy that's not played basketball for a long time. Uh, three months here, he didn't play, and then – Obviously, we all went through COVID and all that, so he didn't play, you know, probably back to last March. So, you know, it's it's going to take him a little bit. Um, you know, his his problems probably more defensively, you know, because he hasn't been in practice. 
you know, he tried to play in a game. We had to play him, um, you know, with uh, probably a handful of days of practice. So, um, you know, I still think they're, they got a chance. They'll be good. Obviously we got the other guys got to help them. So then they don't have to be quite as much of a role. And, and, and Bruce, uh, granted, I, I do understand this is a hindsight, this is 2020 kind of thing, but do you, do you kind of wish you hadn't scheduled this game now, or is there some I mean, benefits you're going to get? From I didn't want to lose um, when we scheduled it, um, but I also wanted to get some experience and playing time. We had to figure it and learn something. So, I, I, you know, you got to learn from it. It's, it's, it's not, not a good moment for us, but, uh, you know, now we got to take a step. Maybe some, Maybe we're all humbled. Maybe we'll all come together and uh, we'll surprise some people. A next question to Kellis Robinette. One more for you, Bruce. How, how did you uh, handle handle this one with the guys in the locker room? What, what kind of was your message? I don't, I, you know, this, hey guys, I, you come back tomorrow. This is, it's sad. It's embarrassing. It's my fault. I'm the head, of, I'm the head coach. I haven't done a good enough job helping you. Uh, we can't make any excuses. We got to come back with a great attitude tomorrow and get ready for Wisconsin Milwaukee. That's all we can, that's all we can control right now. And uh, it's, you know, we're going it, to, it's disappointing, but we can change that on Friday night and then next Tuesday and then moving forward. But uh, you know, we, we got to, we got to figure some things out. There's, there's no doubt.